What's up everyone? Welcome back to World Renowned Turbo Tractor for another awesome Disney Cars diecast video. And today we are going to be taking a look at brand new Mater, a retro Radiator Springs classic diecast. But first, I want to say that this was requested to me by MaterFan08, who is celebrating his birthday today. So I hope you are having a fantastic day on your birthday today. I wish you a very happy birthday with lots of great memories, a great time, and maybe even some Disney Cars gifts. That being said, let's jump right into this review. As MaterFan08 requested a surprise Mater to review, I decided why not review brand new Mater, who is the original version of Mater. Of course, not the original version of Mater that was released by Mattel, but in reality, the very first Mater that existed, as far as we know, in the world of cars. The brand new Mater right out of the factory. If they're made in a factory, I'm not sure, but you get the idea. He was, however, released pretty early on, starting in the second Cars mainline of 2007, around that time, in the supercharged line. And he has been released as a single quite a few times since then. This particular version of him is a Thailand variant that I got in 2020. He didn't have a whole lot of screen time in Cars, however, he did have a pretty significant appearance as he appeared during the Retro Radiator Springs flashback sequence. Taking an up close look at him, we can see that he has this brand new paint job in this really light blue, which looks pretty nice, and there is not a scratch on it as his paint job is brand new, of course. He also has a very happy expression. His eyes and teeth don't change throughout the years. You can see he has greenish brownish eyes right there as well as two large front teeth up there in the front and you can see his headlights are painted in gray there. Of course because this was made in Thailand they are a little bit grainy unfortunately but they don't look too bad all things considered. You can see that he has these white painted rims right here on his very heavy duty tires. He has double tires here on the back, as well as those white painted rims again. And we can see in white paint, though it is a little bit hard to read because the white has to contrast on this bright blue. It is a little bit hard to read, but it says Tow Mater Towing and Salvage Radiator Springs. That is, of course, his business. We also see the door handle here painted in gray. And we can see the rear view mirrors right here, which are a gray plastic and are attached to the side and you can also see the window right there now the back portion of him is actually real die cast metal whereas the back portion of some maters has been plastic but i think it's really cool that this version in particular does have real die cast metal it makes him heavier and definitely makes him feel a lot more authentic as a die cast car we can see a little red light moving on to the back we can see the caution tape coloring right here on his back bumper section and we can see his license plate which reads a113 as well as two red lights here never can have too many lights if you are a tow truck and then on the back here he has this towing cable section which is a bit of a soft plastic but it's attached fairly firmly of course it's just simply painted gray and you can see his tow hook which does have some flex to it in the back there and he has these four orange roof lights. Comparing him to his normal rusted out version as we know him best, you can see he has a very similar expression, a very happy one, though his mouth is a bit different. Of course, his eyes are the same color. It wouldn't make sense if they weren't. You can obviously see the main difference is that this one is very rusty, whereas this one has a brand new paint finish, so a very stark contrast there. You can also see that this headlight has been busted out on the normal version, whereas it is still intact in this brand new version. And of course, as you know, he lost his hood somewhere on down the line, so his hood is missing. You can see right to his engine right there. Even his rims on the side have been rusted out. Some of his Mater Towing and Salvage logo does remain, along with the light blue paint right there that we see here. His towing apparatus has also rusted out. Though you can see a little bit of the light blue there in the back section. Some of that blue is also still present here. And you can also see that there is some of the caution right here in the back, but overall he has been weathered quite a bit. Now we can also see that one of the roof lights is busted out right there on the normal version, whereas it is still in one piece 
on the brand new version. And that's about it for this review of Brand New Mater. What can I say, his paint job looks pretty fresh and he doesn't look fresh all that often, but when he does in this case, he looks really, really fresh, man. Thank you so much MaterFan08 for requesting this for your birthday. Once again, I hope it's a great one. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. But whatever you do, be sure you do not click the video on the screen.